Maurice Hurt, Baldwin alone, two-time national championship in Florida. You, Georgia, Baldwin alone, two-time national champion. Is there any, you know, kind of contact between y'all? Oh, Maurice yeah. A little older, but Definitely. Mar week. Yeah, Maurice is my boy. Maurice, uh, he was actually my coach. One of my coaches my senior year in high school. He came back, man. So uh, we definitely stayed in contact. Love to talk. So, you know, it's a little little hate here and there probably this week going on. But, you know, still my guy at the end of the day. Love him. I was uh, watching your uh, Players Lounge uh, interview there with or the thing that you and Jackson Meeks did. You talked about the bye week, chance to rest up, dinged and bruised up. How, how good was that for you to kind of have those – in a few days to get treatment without getting torn back down again. Oh, it was huge. It was huge, man. Um, like I said, half the battle is, you know, staying healthy here. So, uh, you know, we practice hard, and, and that just comes with it. Uh, I don't know nobody that plays football that didn't get banged up at some point. So, uh, like I said, it was huge. It was huge for us on a recovery level. So now we just get, uh, got to dial back in on the physicality and, and prepare for this week. To your left, uh, two things. One, what did you get Cedric Van Pran for his birthday, which is today? And two, what makes this Georgia Florida rivalry so great in your eyes? Uh, um, I ain't gonna be real. I ain't, I ain't give my boy Cedric nothing for his birthday, <laughs> but love and passion for, you know, shout out to Cedric, man. But um, this, this is old fashioned hate. You know, Georgia versus Florida, I mean, one of the biggest rivalries ever. Um, it's gonna continue to be that way. It was that way before I got here. It's gonna continue to be that way after I leave. Um, if this game doesn't get you amped up to play football, I don't know what game will. So, like I said, it, uh, it's just it's, it's special. We got a lot of uh, Florida guys on our on our team, so I know it's special for them as well, man. So, and me being a Georgia boy, is damn sure special for me. So, uh, like I said, we got to do whatever we can to come up with a victory. Jackson, 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 feel like do you feel like yourself now after that, that uh, uh, right now I'm, I'm ready to go man uh so last year I, I came back uh Auburn um really just you know it was more so mental last year than anything but uh now as uh, for this year is more so physically I've been banged up pretty good but you know I, I feel like I'm back uh coaches think I'm back you know so I'm just ready you know I'm ready to attack got uh, two quarterbacks here playing really, really well mm -hmm. and uh, a good running game. Uh, you just talk about the challenge you face and specifically as a safety having to be involved in run game and pass defense. Uh, those guys do a, a great job of um, making splash plays and I say that because they, they complement each other very well. They're running backs. Um, those guys are very great backs. One of the best in the SEC, one of the best running backs that will play all throughout the season. Um, and Johnson and ETN. So uh, we got to do our best to contain those guys. Um, we pride ourselves in stopping the run, so that's something that we have to do this week in order to be victorious. And the quarterback's been playing at a very high level. Um, the guy complete, I mean, Merce is completing like 76% of his passes. That's that's crazy if you, you know what I'm saying, if you, you watch football for real. So um, like I said, we got to do our best uh, to slow him down and really just dial in on the things that we didn't do early on in the season, make sure we fix those mistakes. Javon, kind of following up on that, what stands out to you about Florida's passing game and what they bring to the table? Uh, they got a lot of playmakers, man. They got a lot of playmakers. Uh, crafty guy, uh, Wilson, uh, he's been banged up pretty good. Um, but I think he'll, we'll see him this week. Um, Pearsall's been lighting it up, man. Guy had a hell of a catch, uh, a couple, I think it was a couple weeks ago, man. So, guy's always been a great route runner. I played him last year. Uh, always was a great route runner, so uh, I have a lot of respect for him. And we just gotta uh, dial in, get those guys on the ground, make plays when they make plays when the ball's in there. You mentioned the Georgia guy. What's your earliest Georgia Florida memory? Um, I'm not gonna lie. Really, the one I remember is when we we lost. That's the one I remember the most. You know, what I mean that sticks in our head, and I know. Um, that we, that's why, I, I mean, me personally, I wasn't here yet, but when, you know what I'm saying, when I did come, that was one of those weeks where it was probably the most physical practice I've ever seen in my life. You know, those guys took a lot of pride in um, playing these guys, and, you know, it, it's special. And it means a lot to this organization, and it means a lot to me. So, uh, like I said, we just got to dial in and do whatever we have to do to get this W. Yeah, what are Oscar Delp's strengths, and what does he bring to this team? Um, I mean, the guy's been under Brock Bowers' wing. So anytime you're, um, you know what I'm saying, kind of shadow on a guy like that, you have no 
no choice but to become, you know, a good player. But uh, that was a great player, man. Um, that was a great player. He blocks well. He blocks. He does a lot. A lot of things that goes un unseen, probably because it doesn't show up on the stat sheet. But um, has great hands. A good route runner. Uses his body to make plays. Is a big guy. Has a big frame. Nice catch radius. And I'm excited for him to be honest with you. I mean, what an opportunity for him this year. I mean, it's coming up. It's coming up game. John, you're part of a team that has the longest winning streak in, in uh, program history. Tough games coming up. How much, uh, like, uh, is there stress with that when you go to a game day, you know, one that you're kind of carrying that thing with you? Mm, not at all. I don't even know what win streak we're on. Um, we're trying to win every game, so uh, it really doesn't matter. Um, we go into the, every game with the same mindset. Doesn't really matter how many games we won, how many games we like, we, how many games we lost. Uh, we try to go in there and win every game. That's our motto: do whatever we can to get the victory. Javon, with so many coaches and staff members on, in this program with Georgia back, and obviously starting with Coach Smart. Can y'all sense during practice of Georgia Florida week how much more maybe this means to them? Are there any examples that you see them getting even more intense than normal? I mean, this, this is an SEC East opponent. We take pride in the East, man. We on the East. Um, that's one of our things that we talk about before the, the year starts, man. We have to dominate the East, man. And, uh, you know, Florida's in the East. So, and you know, Coach Smart, uh, the, guy, the guy played here. So it, ma it matters to him. This organization matters to him. This, this university matters to him. So um, seeing the passion and energy that he brings to practice gets us, you know, all excited to play. And, man, like I said, if, if this game alone doesn't get you amped up, ready to play, then you're in the wrong place. Questions for Javon? Yeah, Javon, over here to your right. I don't quite remember, but I think Georgia was probably one of the bigger schools that recruited you out of Brunswick. <laughs> what, what did Georgia identify in you, you think, in high school to, to have brought you in and offered you like that? Uh, Really, man, just playing for my state. You know, it means a lot to me to play for my state. Uh, I'm not really sure, you know what I'm saying, what they probably seen. In, in me, you know, I just tried to play every game like it was my last, and I, I'm gonna continue to do so. Um, really, just, but it meant a lot to me to play for my state, man. A lot, of, it meant a lot to me for me to see my family be able to see me play. Uh, really, just, and you know, I'm a Georgia boy, so you know, I ain't want to be too far from home. So, uh, um, really, just that was that was really it for me, man. Just being dialed in and be able to uh, play for my state was huge for me. Final question for Javon. Okay, Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you